Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see what do you mean by inverted R2R ladder DAC, how it is implemented and why it is implemented. We also calculate or we also obtain the output equation and we will see the circuit diagram. So let's begin with the topic. DAC are basically the circuits which are used for converting digital signal into analog form. The conversion of digital signal into analog form is important because the user is not able to understand the digital language. The digital language is always in the form of 1 and 0, which is a machine language, and that language is understood by the machines only. Therefore, to make the language understandable to the user, it is very much important to convert the signal into analog form. As the digital signals are very much easy to store, easy to process, and easy to transmit, therefore, the digital signals are most widely used. But when it comes to the user point of view, it is not possible for the user to understand such type of language and therefore D2A conversion is required. These type of conversions are takes place by using a circuit called as data converters. Data converters are of basically two types, A to D and D2A. Here we are going to talk about D2A converters. The D2A converters are basically are of two types, binary weighted resistor D2A converter and R2R ladder D2A converter. In case of binary weighted resistor, large number of resistors values are required to be used for developing the circuit and therefore it is very much difficult to fabricate such big value circuit onto the integrated chip. In case of R2R ladder, and in case of binary weighted resistor, both having one disadvantage that the current flowing through circuit is not remain constant. It will get change and therefore this causes large power dissipation. As the power dissipation is get increased, the resistors used in the circuit get heated up. Because of the heat, it may possible that the value of resistor is get changed because the value of resistor depend upon the temperature parameter and as the heat is get increases the temperature is get increased and that causes alteration in the resistor value so it may possible that the output may not be proper so this problem is overcome by using inverted r2r ladder circuit in case of inverted r2r ladder circuit current flowing through each resistor is remain constant so let's have a look of the circuit diagram of inverted r2r ladder here the two values resistors that is 2R and R are used but the circuit is called as inverted R2R ladder because in this circuit the position of LSB and MSB is get interchange. In the original circuit the LSB is pres MSB is present over here whereas LSB is present over here but now in case of inverted ladder circuit the position is get interchange. The circuit consists of op amp which is considered as an ideal op amp. Now in this circuit the we are using 3 bit as a digital input. The digital inputs are connected to the switch. The switch is get connected either to the inverting terminal of the op amp or it is get connected to the ground. According to the virtual ground concept, if one of the terminal of op amp is connected to ground, the other terminal will be also at the same potential. Now in the diagram if we look properly, then we will come to know that the non-inverting terminal of the op amp is connected to ground. That means the voltage present at non-inverting terminal of the op amp is equal to zero. So as per virtual ground concept, the voltage present at inverting terminal of the op amp is also equal to zero. So irrespective of the switch position, the same current or the constant current flows through each resistor. Also in this type of circuit, the current is get equally divided into each branch. Now in order to obtain the output equation, we need to consider the current flowing through each node. Now let's assume that current flowing through node A is I1, B is I2 and C is I3. So let's write down the values of this current. Now we are going to consider the current I1 as Vr upon R 2 raised to minus 1. I1 is the current in node A. Now for node B, I2 is the current. And for node C, the current is I3. Now, we know that the output current is nothing but the current flowing through each branch. And it is nothing but the sum of current flowing through each branch. So, output current is given as 
here we are using only three values because we are assuming that we are applying only three bit as a digital input. So I0 is equals to B1 I1 plus B2 I2 plus B3 I3. We have the values of I1, I2 and I3. So let's substitute this value and find out the output current IO. Here in the equation, the term VR upon R is present in each term. Therefore, we can take it common. The output equation can be obtained by using a formula minus RF into I0. The negative sign indicates the output voltage is obtained by using equation minus RF into I0. The negative sign indicates that the input the negative sign indicates that the input is applied to the inverting terminal of the op amp. So now we have the value of I0. So let's substitute this value and find out the final equation for output voltage V0. Here the term V minus RF upon R can be replaced by a constant that is K. So final output equation is So this is how we can calculate the final output equation of the inverted R2R ladder network. The most important advantage of the inverted R2R ladder network is that it provides equal distribution of current through each node. Therefore, the current flowing through each node is remain constant and therefore the overheating of the resistor is get avoided which obtain or which present in the binary weighted resistor or R2R ladder network resistor. So the drawback of binary weighted resistor and R2R ladder resistor is gets overcome in case of inverted R2R ladder network just by interchanging the position of LSB and MSB. Now let's understand the problem in detail by considering one example. In that problem we need to design R2R ladder network for certain resolution. So here we need to find out the number of bits and the resolution is given to us along with the voltage. So we need to find out the number of bits when V reference is given as 5 volt and two values of resolutions are given. First is 1 millivolt and second is 100 millivolt. We know that the formula of resolution is Vr upon 2 raised to n or V full scale voltage upon 2 raised to n. So now we have the value of Vr and we have the value of resolution. So in order to calculate the number of bits, we need to interchange the terms in the formula. So the formula becomes 2 raised to n is equals to Vr upon resolution. Now let's find out the number of bits for the resolution of 1 millivolt. So we obtain value of 2 raised to n is equals to 5000. Now here we need to assume certain values of n which are close to the term that is 5000. If we consider n is equals to 12, then we obtain output as 2 raised to n is equals to 2 raised to 12, which is 4096. Now this value is very much less than 5000. Therefore, we need to consider the higher value. And that's why we will consider n is equals to 13. Therefore, when we require resolution of 1 millivolt, we require number of bits becomes 13. Now let's find out number of bits for the resolution of 100 millivolt. The formula remains same. Here 2 raised to n is equals to 50 and therefore we consider the value of n is equals to 6. So this is how we can design a R2R ladder and we can find out the number of bits required for a given resolution. So I hope you understand the topic of inverted R2R ladder. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.